evil old house, the kind some people call haunted, is like an undiscovered country waiting to be explored. Hill House had stood for 90 years and might stand for 90 more. Silence lay steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. And whatever walked there, walked alone. I'm Brad Fraser. I'm Spencer Shunk. And this is Old Movies for Young People. And today our movie is The Haunting from 1963, directed by Robert Wise. Starring Julie Harris as Eleanor. Yes. By now they know the car is gone. But they don't know where. They would never have suspected it of me. I would never have suspected it of myself. We have Claire Bloom as Theodora and... The lesbian. The, well, yes, the lesbian. You long for a tiny home, something smaller than Hill House. There's room for two. We have uh, Richard Johnson as uh, Professor Markway. I'm a scientist conducting an unusual experiment. A haunted house. Everyone laughs. And Russ Tamblin as Luke. What's wrong? And this is based on a novel by Shirley Jackson called The Haunting of Hill House which has been one of my favorite novels since I was a teenager. It, it truly is, I think, one of the scariest ghost stories that, have ever, that has ever been written. And I'm glad to say the movie doesn't disappoint either. It was written by Nelson Gidding, and Nelson decided to step slightly away from the supernatural and give it a more psychological feel. So what you have is a movie that's really thick on atmosphere. I leave before the dark comes. Your husband? We live over in town, miles away. Yes. So there won't be anyone around if you need help. I understand. We couldn't hear you in the night. Hill House has this wonderful history that's all set up at the beginning of the movie. She lived a life of complete solitude in the empty house. Though some say that the house was not empty and never has been since the night old Miss Abby died. They say that whatever there was and still is, in the house, eventually drove the companion mad. Julie Harris and Claire Bloom and Russ Tamblin and Dr. Markway arrive to find out if the house is actually haunted. They're paranormal investigators, yes. basically. Theo and uh, Nell, or Eleanor, are uh, the only two people who responded to the ad. And then Russ Tamblin, he's the inheritor of the house. Yes. Yes. Uh, and he's kind of a rich boy, almost frat boy type asshole. Luke Sampson. Let's see what kind of martinis it makes. Well, they should be pretty good. I uh, majored in them in college. Are we to expect any more carnivorous bipeds, Dr. Markway? Originally, there were six committed to the experiment, but one by one, the others dropped out. When I was in the fifth grade in Smithers, B.C., the principal over the PA system on Halloween read us uh, one chapter, <laughs> the entire school of the haunting. It's a chapter where Nell and, what's her name? Theo. Are in a bedroom, and the lights go out, and this pounding starts in the hallway and they hear it coming down the hallway and it gets louder and louder and louder until it's deafening and then it's right outside the door. And there's a part, uh, a room in the house called the heart of the house. We're always like, what is behind that it's, door? It's the nursery, yes. but they call it the heart of the house. Yes, and I think uh, Wise makes a really interesting choice by never opening that door for us. No, 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 there's got to be a draft. The floor's solid. Now look, Doc, don't give me any of that supernatural jazz. This is something I can feel and see. There are points where the house actually breathes, mm -hmm. where they're in a room and the door starts to move Stretching. in and out. God, it knows I'm here. There's no ghost in this movie. In fact, there's no booga booga no. in this movie at all. Everything Maybe one is, jump scare. 
The one yeah. jump scare near the end when Lois Maxwell, who is the interfering wife of Dr. Markway, shows up and kind of ruins it for everyone. <laughs> Certain things have happened here. You may not believe in the supernatural, but these things are physical facts. Mr. Markway! Mr. Markway! Please! Don't sleep in the nursery. I, I didn't realize what I was saying. You insult my intelligence. You don't think I'd believe anything you ghost hunters might tell me. So together, as they try to discover the truth about this house, Eleanor, as played by Julie Harris, Julie Harris, is pulled deeper and deeper into her own madness. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Julie Harris is one of the best actors in American film or theater in the 20th century. She is the heart that makes this movie work. Without her neurotic, needy, sad performance, this movie wouldn't have nearly the amount of pathos and horror it has in it now. It took me two weeks to find the little stone lines I keep on the mantle. Brush your teeth every night. I've got a hunch I'd better get you back to your apartment as fast as I can. But don't say that. Well, I only... But why do you all pick on me? Am I the public dump or something for everybody's fear? I don't want to leave Hill House. Ever, ever, ever. As to whether it has any validity for a new generation, I think absolutely. I mean, it's a horror story. It's almost timeless. You know what I mean? But, we well, are... it is, but does... I mean, come on now. Your generation is used to all these Freddy Krueger things and uh, Michael Myers and the later horror things and the slashing and the cutting and then, and then the irony... And then the yeah. irony of um, mm -hmm. the Scream movies and that kind of thing. So do you think this... I think it's a, a little over two hours long... There's really only four main characters in the movie and then a lot of a few uh, subsidiary characters right. who and come around. And we're not killing people off like we do in a lot of horror No. Movies. I mean, so do you yeah. really think it would hold them for that length of time? I think it depends on the imagination of, of the viewer in question. Well, then your generation is fucked. They're not into it at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. If they were into the Netflix series uh, for the first few episodes anyway, when it was good, right. then I think this movie would hold them, and it doesn't disappoint. It actually does deliver on the original promise rather than totally deviating right. from uh, from the central theme. Also, skip the fucking 90s version of this movie. Where oh my God. Owen Wilson gets his head taken off by a pendulum in a fireplace, which, what, that sentence, what the fuck Why would you have a pendulum mean? in a fireplace? <laughs> yes, exactly. And yeah, don't even think about that movie at all. No, this it's is horrifying. And it has different. Lily Taylor in it, who is it an amazing actress. It has what, yeah. Isn't it Jeffrey Rush or Liam Neeson playing the doctor? It, Liam, one of those Liam two. Neeson and uh, also and Catherine Zeta Jones Catherine playing Zeta Theo. Jones. Yeah, yeah, it has a huge cast. But, and uh, it's a no, piece of shit. It's terrible. Hill House has stood for 90 years and might stand for 90 more. Within, walls continue upright. Bricks meet, floors are firm, and doors are sensibly shut. Silence lies steadily against the wood and stone of Hill House. And we who walk here, walk alone. <laughs> 